Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root and this question is asked by Vishnu. The question is, let x be the least number which subtracted from 10,424 gives a perfect square number. What is the least number by which x should be multiplied to get perfect square? So they are asking to find out two things in this question. The first thing is we have to find out a least number that is x which is uh, when we subtract this least number from this number the number will become perfect square number and again the same number we have whatever number we got here that is your x we have to find out what number we should multiply to this x so that we'll get perfect square so i'm going to first solve the first bit of the question where we have to find out the least number that is x when we subtract from this number that number will become perfect square number so what is that so whenever you see a question like what is the smallest number or least number to be subtracted or added you have to use a long division method that is uh, you you might have learned this division method to find out the square root so same method we're going to use to find out this answer so this is a long division method it's not like a regular division what we do it's a bit different one so in this method in this division method we're going to first write down the number that is 10424 right now we start pairing up to find out we might have learned this that to find out the square root of this number we start pairing up the number from the right side so 24 will become one pair and 04 will become another pair and we have one a number one left out which is single so leave it like that so it, it doesn't have any pair so leave it like that now okay we have got the dividend here so how to find out the divisor so it's uh, since we're finding out the number here like it's a perfect square number to choose the divisor also we have to select a perfect square number which is closer to one perfect square number means when you multiply the number by itself the answer what we'll get is a perfect square like two twos are is four right so four is a perfect square number three threes are is nine so nine is a perfect square number so this number where we can find out the square root of that number easily without a decimal anything those are called perfect square number so here i have to find out a perfect square number which is close to one so we know that one ones are is one yeah so we can take this one ones are one so here one ones are one now subtract like how we subtract a normal division same with subtract this we'll get zero here now drop the next number so when you're dropping the next number you have to drop the entire pair that is zero four we'll get now now we got one for the first divisor is one for every step the divisor will change so what will be divisor for this step so we got the dividend now so the dividend is four so how to find out the divisor for this step so whatever question you have what question you have now it's a one so you have to take a twice of one twice means double of one so we know one plus one is two right so your number will be two here it's not at over two is only a one digit we have to find out another digit along with two which gonna comes in a ones place okay this number so when you multiply this number we don't know this number two is two is in ten, two is a number which is in tens place okay whatever quotient you got you should take a twice of that suppose you have a four here twice of four is eight so you're going to get eight here if, here we have one so double of one or twice of one is two so we got two here but along with two i have to take another digit which is which going to comes in your ones place and this number is such a way that you should multiply this number whatever number you got here with itself that is suppose i have a two here and suppose i'm taking a three as my number in the ones place so i have to multiply this with three okay so whatever number you're taking here you should multiply with itself the same number we should multiply with so and then we're going to get the answer now i don't know what number we should take because we want four here right suppose i'll take the number one so 21 ones are so i took a one in the ones place so I'm going to multiply with 1. So 1 1 is a 1, 1 2 is a 2. I got 21. But I have here 4. So I want a number which is closer to 4 or equal to 4. So what is the number? I have taken a 1 here. So with 1 if I'm taking, I'm, taking, I'm getting 21. So I don't want 21, right? So what is the number which is less than 1? It is 0. So we're going to take a 0 here. So 2, 0. Now multiply this with 0, which will be 0. Yeah, so 0 is less than 4. So we're going to go with 0. So here in the ones place, I will get zero. Okay. So let me raise this part. Here we'll get zero and zero write down in the question also. So 20 is zeros are is zero. 
subtract it you will get 4 now drop this the entire pair which is 24 now I got 424 now how to find out the divisor for this step I got dividend here 424 I have to find out the divisor for this step so same process whatever quotient you have here now the quotient is 10 you should take a double of 10 so what is 10 plus 10 20 right so here we will get 20 along with 20 I have to find out a number in the ones place same like in the first uh, previous step how we have done so we have to find out this number again same thing whatever number we are taking here with the same number you should multiply this whole to get the answer so you should get the answer closer to 424 or equal to 424 not more than that but less than that so if I take here 201 I am taking 1 here right so I am going to multiply with 1 so I'll get 102. So 201 I got which is quite less than 424. So I'm going to take the next number which is 2. So 202 I'm going to multiply this with 2 because I've taken 2 here. So you have to multiply with 2. So this will be 4, 0 and then 4. This is closer to 424 but let me try with 3. So 203 multiplied with 3. So this will be 9, 0 and 6. 609 we are getting which is quite larger than 424. We cannot take 609. So we are going to go with 2 that is 202 multiplied by 2. So here we will get 2. So 202 multiplied by 2 is 404. Now subtract it. So here we got 0, 2, 0 which is 20. We got 20 here right. So 20 is a smallest number by which we should be subtract this number to get perfect square. So the question is what is the least number to be subtracted right. Whatever remainder you got here that is the smallest number to be subtracted. So when you subtract this 10424 uh, by 20 you will get the number and that number is your perfect square number. I am not doing that because I do not want that. They just ask us to find out the least number to be subtracted. So the least number that is x will be equal to 20. So let me write down that. So x will be equal to 20. Now this is only first part of the question. Now what is second part? They are saying what is the least number by which x should be multiplied to get perfect square. So x right now is 20 and we know that 20 is not perfect square right. So we have to find out a least number when you multiply that with 20 you will get perfect square number okay what is the least number now they are saying multiply whenever you see a number multiply smallest number to be multiply or divide then you have to use a prime factorization whenever you see a number like smallest number or least number to be subtracted or added then you should do a division method that is what we have done here right that division method whenever you see the multiply or divide you would go with the uh, prime factorization method you have to find out the prime factors of that number so what is the least number to be multiplied with this 20 to get perfect square we are going to do a prime factorization of 20 that is the next step so here we got 20 remember we should take only prime numbers so 2 is a prime number so 2 tens are 20 again I will take 2 here 2 5s are 10 and we got 5 so 5 ones are 5 now if you see here 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 now if the number is perfect square number 20 is not perfect square in case number whatever number we have here is a perfect square number the prime factors what we got will always be in a pair now if you see here 20 is not a perfect square number and that is why we got a unpair here. We have a factors, sorry we have a pair for 2 but we don't have a pair for 5, 5 is single here right. So to make this number perfect square like I said before the number is, if the number is perfect square number the prime factor will always be in a pair. Now if there was another 5 here, there is no 5 here but in case there was a 5 here the, then this number will become perfect square right so what is the smallest number to be multiplied that will be a 5 why 5 because 5 is single here if there was another 5 it will it want to form a pair so we should multiply it. if the, to this 20 I should multiply 5 so that the number will become perfect square now I hope it's clear uh, the 5 was missing here one single 5 was there I want another 5 there so we should multiply 5 on both the side that is we should multiply this 20 with 5 then we will get the answer so 20 into 5 is 100 right 
twenty five is as hundred, and we know that hundred is a perfect square. Square root of hundred is ten. I hope it's clear. So what is the least number they are asking? So the least number to be multiplied will be five. So therefore, least number to be multiplied. Will be five. Will be equal to five. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. And uh, uh, thank you, Vishnu, for asking this question. This is really important type of question. It's different one, and uh, it's important one. I hope it's clear. In case you have for the question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.